Join Kids Hat Family. Hmm, what do we have today? We've got some fried veggies and rice for dinner. What? Who eats vegetables? I want to eat a burger. Tofu, that's all we had in store today. I can make you a burger tomorrow. Let's eat this now. But I don't want to eat it. I wish we had something more delicious to eat. Tofu, do you think you are behaving in the right manner? Oh dear, I don't like this car anymore. Look at the paint. It's all chipped off. It looks like trash now. Can we buy a new one tomorrow? Enough Tofu, you are being so ungrateful. But dear, Tofu, there are people who go on without food for days. There are people who don't even have a roof over their heads or enough clothing to cover themselves. Be grateful that you have more than enough. Hmm, I guess you are right. Come on, I will tell you a story. The Wise Child Once upon a time, there was an old man who was always unhappy and complaining about everything. He would complain about the weather, his health and the people around him. Nothing seemed to make him happy. Ah, oh, why is it so sunny today? Oh, wise old man, be thankful that the sun is finally shining after days of heavy rain. The next day, the old man sat under the same tree and complained how weak he was. Ah, look at my skinny arms. I wish I could be stronger like I was before. Oh, wise old man, be thankful for there are people who can't even do daily tasks like drinking water on their own. Go away, you silly man. I don't need your advice. And the old man complained every single day about one thing or another. Until one fine day, a young boy visited the old man and asked him why he was always unhappy. Oh, wise old man, what makes you so unhappy? I have nothing to be happy about. Everything is terrible. Upon hearing this, the young boy thought for a moment and then replied, Oh, kind sir, allow me to teach you a lesson. Really? Let's see what you got to make me happy. The young boy led the old man to a nearby park where they sat on a bench together. The boy then asked the old man to close his eyes and think of all the things he was grateful for. Come on now, sir. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and think and tell me about all the things that you are grateful for. Things that I am grateful for? Hmm, let me think. The old man hesitated at first but then started to think. He thought about his family, his home and his friends. He thought about the food on his table and the clothes on his back. He thought about the sun and the stars and the beauty of nature. As the old man opened his eyes, he saw the world in a different light. He felt a sense of gratitude and happiness that he had never felt before. Oh, I have never felt so good in a long time. See, you have so much to be thankful for. It's all a matter of perspective. Thank you so much, young boy. You have been very kind to me. The old man felt ashamed for being so ungrateful and promised to change his ways. From that day on, he made efforts to appreciate the little things in life and to be grateful for what he had. Ah, look at the sun today. It is so beautiful. 
as time passed the old man became happier and more content he no longer complained about everything and everyone around him he smiled more and was grateful for each new day hello sir how are you today come my child come to me i feel like the happiest man on earth thank you so much i'm so glad the young boy continued to visit the old man and they spent many happy days together the boy taught the old man many other valuable lessons and the old man became like a grandfather to him do you now understand what difference does being grateful make tofu yes dear i now understand that happiness is a matter of perspective Yes, and we should always be grateful for what we have instead of focusing on what we don't have. We should appreciate the little things in life and always be thankful for the people who love us. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. subscribe here